this week I got a call from the Adventure Aquarium in New Jersey, and they called me down because they said they got something really big they need to talk to me about. This is the main attraction. It's a giant alligator? This Holy is, cannoli! Yeah. What's his name? Mighty Mike. Mighty Mike. How big is he? He's 14 feet long and over 800 hey, pounds. Look at the bottom. Oh, 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 oh. He's about as big as an uh, average size automobile. He's going to go to Newport, Kentucky, to our sister aquarium. So we kind of wanted to give him a big send off. You know, one of the things that we talk a lot about with our guests is just his sheer size. So if you could make something oh, coming out. maybe close to 14 feet long. Do you want an actual replica of, like, the actual size of the boat? Yeah. I, I think that would be awesome. And this will just fold the cake right on here, then shape it right on here. Yep. So let me tell you, after being up close and personal with Mighty Mike, this cake is going to be huge. This is a big cake. So this alligator's got a manja. We want the mouth to open and close, baby. Are we happy with that? Yeah, lower it down. Open it up. Oh. <laughs> I don't know what he thought was going to happen there. It worked. <laughs> to make an 800-pound alligator, you need about 800 pounds of cake. There's a lot of cake on here. It's How close be... do you think it's going to get to the weight of the real it's alligator? Gonna... I wouldn't be shocked if this is heavier than a regular yeah. alligator. The thing about making Mighty Mike is, when you're doing a life size, it's got to be exact. Because any little mistake is going to be magnified. They don't get much more impressive than this. I mean, look at this. This is 16 thing. foot tall. This is two sheets of plywood. So to get the alligator skin to really look authentic, we use the cobblestone mat and kind of emboss the modeling chocolate in it. And I got to say, it looks realistic. Is that good for you? That's, for me, these are good like this. You're good, man. The other side, no go. All right. It's a big cake. Right? When that thing gets airbrushed, it's going to go look so much like the alligator. It already, just look at it with just the scutes on the back. It looks fantastic. You know, the challenging part of this alligator cake is to really make it look authentic. And the only way to really make it look authentic is to get the textures right. This is black. Yeah, it's charcoal black. Alligator skin has got a lot of different color variations in it. So first thing we're going to do is hit it with some dry black and chartreuse. I want to get the alligator to look like he jumped right out of the water. So I'm airbrushing some iridescent pearl on there to give it a shiny gloss. And the more we laid it, the more she looked like coming to life. This is, this is a cake. <laughs> when I step back and look at this cake, I'm like friggin' ecstatic. Because we've done some life-size stuff, and this thing looked real. I know they're gonna love it. This is definitely one of the top 10 cakes we've ever made. Definitely. This goes in the buddy playbook on the top 10 list. And it ain't easy to get on that list because I've made a lot of cakes. Top 10, baby. Ah. He's gonna go underneath the wheel. Let's get the wheel out a little more. This cake is 16 foot long and weighs over 1,000 pounds. Now that's a big alligator. Explored by the cake, but they haven't seen it manjata yet. They're gonna love it. Ready, go. Nice. Pretty cool. Awesome. Good job. 
So who wants to eat some cake? Yeah!